Disney fam, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? I hope we're having a very, very magical day as usual. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new, welcome. I hope that you find something here that you like and you join my Disney fam. If so, don't forget to hit that bell so you are notified anytime a new video of mine is uploaded. Today's video is going to be a box lunch haul. I feel like I have not done a box lunch haul in a really long time. I haven't really purchased much lately and so you know, it happens. You gotta pay the bills, right? So here we go, box lunch haul. And actually, this was kind of a surprise box lunch haul because I already knew about one thing that I ordered and it was specific because it just was released, purchased it right away. And I got a notification because I get like notifications when I get packages. So I got notified that I got two boxes from box lunch. And I was like, wait, what I ordered was one little thing. Like there's no way it came in two boxes. And I was like, did they send me duplicates of this or what's going on? And of course the hubby surprised me and got some stuff. So that is what this video is today. So here we go. I have my nice big box from box lunch and let's do this. The first thing that I am showing you, and I'm gonna show you this one first because the hubby has to come. You know how this works when it's a Funko. So it is a Funko and the hubby has to open it up. He's painting the bedrooms as we speak. So he was like, hurry up, do this one first so I could come in, open it and go. That's how determined he is, you guys. That is how much he does not want me to open up Funkos. He will stop what he is doing and working from working to come open up the Funko box. Yes, that man. I can't stop him, he does his own thing. So here we go, I got one Funko, and it is something that just recently came out. Very excited for it, I'm a little sad that I don't have her partner, and I'm hoping to get it somehow. But it is from this year's Earth Day, and it is of Eve, and she's holding the boot with the little plant coming out of it. And I love the packaging of this too, you guys, because it is not a normal Funko packaging. Normal they're very like shiny and um, shiny like plasticky this is very like cardboardy like almost like recycled uh, box so it's really cool let me just kind of show it to you really quick and I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere on here it does say that this is made with like recycled boxes or something I have I feel like it yeah it says here 20% recycled material box is made out of 80% recycled material. So that is really, really awesome. And this is a box lunch exclusive for Earth Day. So let me give it to the hubby so he can open that up for us. And I really hope you guys had a really great Easter. I know Easter just passed a little bit ago. So if you did celebrate, I hope you had a happy Easter. And um, Earth Day was awesome with the release and I feel like every day should be Earth Day. We need to always take care of our planet. So, but I'm glad there's at least a day for Earth Day so we can really celebrate, right? And let me look at her. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I love the way, the way they made her. So here she is. Sorry, you're gonna totally get like my light box on her, but it is what it is. She looks so good. I love the way they have her propped up so it looks like she's flying. That is really, really cool. They have her really detailed. They have her little like green button right there. And then the boot looks cool. Here's her backside. She looks really, really good. I really like her. So I know that I think it was last year, babe. Do you know if it was last year that the Wally -E came out? I believe so. Yeah. So last year the Wally -E one came out. We totally missed out on that one. So really hoping that we can get Wally. -E so I have Wally -E and E. That would be really, really cool. All right. So that is the only Funko one we got. So hubby can go back to painting now. Thanks, hubby. You're welcome. <laughs> and here we go. The next two things are actually for. Robert so yes he actually bought himself something uh, which is very unusual because he usually doesn't buy himself anything so when I opened up the box I was like what you bought yourself stuff so that was pretty cool so two things are for the hubby and then obviously he like kind of felt guilty he's like well I bought myself two things so I bought you some stuff so I am not complaining with that whatsoever you do you baby you buy yourself stuff and you throw some stuff in for me and we are happy we're you know happy wife happy life we're good Okay, I'm gonna save the shirt that, oh, sorry, I already gave it away. He got shirts for himself, which is another really surprising thing because you think he just get himself like Funkos. No, he actually got himself clothes, which is cool. He's been purging a lot of his shirts lately. So I think this is his way of like replacing some that he's purged out. I think, I wanna say at least like 10 or so he's gotten rid of. So two shirts to make up for it, that's not bad. But I'm gonna save the one that I love um, 
last. So the first one he got is like a Robin Hood one and it's a very nice um, soft material. It's in gray. It's like a heathered gray and it um, so on here it says the crown presents the golden arrow tournament grand prize make a perfect bullseye win the golden arrow and uh, Robert said he just really liked the colors more so of anything on this shirt so that is how this looks and he does wear a size large and they are pretty true to size um, when it comes to box lunch shirts so there is the first one he got the next one you guys are not ready for I love this shirt like legit I'm a little jealous and legit I want to buy myself one um, <laughs> this one is also a heathered gray but it is an even softer material so this shirt is soft it's not rigid at all or like rough it's a very soft material but this one's even softer and I me and Robert both really love like really soft t-shirts so it's a very lightweight soft t-shirt and it is a heathered gray once again it's maybe even a shade lighter than the first one and it has Timothy Mouse right over here on a um, um, the left side kind of like where a pocket would be actually does this have a pocket or no no it doesn't and he's holding like the feather he looks so cute I love how vibrant he is but it gets better you guys you're not ready for the back look at the back of this I love it so much so it says Dumbo the flying elephant and here's Dumbo flying and he looks so cute you guys like I love the way he looks like on this t-shirt he just looks like purely like happy so it is so so cute um it also says on here see it to believe it at the bottom so really really cute shirt and um again in a size large is what he wears these shirts are originally $28.90 and he got them for I think $21 they were having some kind of sale going on so he got them for $21 okay now my stuff which I'm really excited for so the hubby did get me pins which i was thinking i was like okay when he first said that he got me something from box lunch i was like did you get me more funkos or like you know there's tons of stuff you can get from box lunch but i really wasn't thinking pins and he did good so i'll show you first he did get me a few mystery box pins and i have seen these already they're fairly new i was a little iffy on them but because the hubby got them for me i am not opposed at all to opening them up so he got me the new bow pins so they are like ribbons like bows not ribbons more bows that are representing each of the different princesses and there is a total of 12 you can get with one of them being a chase which looks to be maleficent um inspired and he got me three boxes of them these are quite small boxes i don't know if they're just downsizing the boxes but the pins are not that small i'm hoping that's the case the other thing is there's only one pin per box i really like when there's two pins per box but there's one pin per box the only good thing is that they're not that bad of a price they're 9.90 and they were buy two get one free so i feel like that really lowers the cost of each pin each box itself so it's not too bad opposed to like the puzzle pieces which is one piece those are like 17 dollars or something i will open these up in the end let me go ahead and show you the other pins he got me uh, i was actually really genuinely surprised with one of them because i saw it the first time and i really wanted it and i totally forgot about it and then it was like the last pin that i kind of pulled out and i was like yes he got it for me my hubby knows me really well so the first pin he got me which i need to verify if i have this pin or not i told robert i was like i might have that pin but then again i see so many pins in a day like just scrolling through instagram scrolling through shopping sites like shop disney box lunch so i may just think i have it but really i just wanted it so the first one is a lady in the tramp pin and obviously this is gonna go with my dog collection. And it has Lady the Tramp with a very famous scene of them eating the spaghetti and meatballs. I really like this pin, very, very pretty pin. And a very iconic scene in the movie which makes me like it even more. So this is actually a scene that just reminds me a lot of me and the hubby because Robert's favorite dish is spaghetti and meatballs and he's a little bit of a tramp and I'm a lady so we can work with it but there is the pin i will go ahead and take it out to show you the back because i know you love to see the back of pins and all it, it's just a gold plain backing and it just says disney on it so it looks like that 
So there is the back of this one. Really, really cute pin. I love this. It's going to make a great um, piece to my Lady in the Tramp collection. The next pin he got me, which is a really cute, this is for a side collection I have. And if you've been following me for a while, you may know what my side collection is. I have like kind of like two-ish side collections, maybe three. But one of my side collections is Dumbo. And he got this Dumbo pin. I actually don't think I've seen this one before. So I love it. It looks like Dumbo's like kind of flying, but at this point he's kind of like falling down as he's flying. So it's really, really cute. I love his ears. You guys already know I have a huge thing for ears. This pin was $8.90, and once again, it was part of the buy three, get one free. Buy two, get one free, I'm sorry. Uh, so that's why we're working with like threes, pairs of threes. So here it is. Look how cute, I love this pin. And then here is the back. Okay, and then the last pin, I am so so happy the hubby got me this pin because seriously, I was like genuinely so excited when I saw this one. This is for, I want to say this is going to be more of a main collection for me now because I've been accumulating quite a few pins of this character and I feel comfortable enough to say that I have like a main collection going for this character and that is of Thumper himself. So Box Lunch did release this Thumper pin, uh, more so probably for Easter time, and I love it. Like, I just want all the Thumper pins. Like, literally give me all the Thumper pins ever made, and I want them all. So here it is. He looks so cute. I love the pose. I love the colors. I love his facial expression. Let me go ahead and take it off the card for you so you can see him out. There he is, look how cute he is. I love this pin. And then let me show you the back. There is the back of it. So really, really happy. The hubby did a really great job. He pretty much nailed each one of my collections, so he did good. All right, let's open up these babies. I actually haven't watched any unboxings of these pins yet, so I'm really, really excited. I have no idea how they look like whether on camera or in person so i'm really excited and just to kind of go through it real quick it looks like we can get um a little uh, ariel themed one a bell themed one jasmine tiana snow white mulan aurora uh pocahontas i feel like i want to say moana but i know it's not moana it, it kind of gives me moana vibes but it's pocahontas um, and then I'm guessing that's Rapunzel. Yes, Rapunzel. Cinderella and uh, is this Brave? I can't tell. Huh. Might be Brave. Or is it Moana? I'm obsessed with these being Moana, you guys. By the way, my Moana ears from Melissa from Pixie Dust and Pins. Thank you so much. I love them. Um, I honestly can't really tell which one this is, you guys. Um, it, it probably is brave, but it doesn't really look that green. We'll find out if I get it, and if I don't get it, then you guys can tell me um, in the description. I mean, in the comments down below. And then the chase is Maleficent, but here it is. It's the one right next to Maleficent. I'm not too sure who it is. All right. Obviously, you guys know who I want. I want Belle and I want Rapunzel. Um, those are my main ones. The Pocahontas one looks really, really pretty though, um, I have to say. Depending on how big these pins are, I may want a lot more of them, but definitely at least to go with my collection, I want Rapunzel and I want Belle. So let me manifest this really quick. Rapunzel and Belle are who I want and is who I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, it's in a very thick um, envelope and they're, yeah, it's very thick and a very big bag. Here we go. Who did I get? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh my gosh, these are really pretty actually. Oh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised how these are. So not my favorite character. I already know a few people who would love this pin and I may trade for it um, depending, but it's actually a very pretty pin and I may keep it just because I love the size of it. Like I said, I haven't seen anyone unbox these yet, so I wasn't sure how they were gonna play out, but I think they're a nice size pin. So this is of Ariel. It's a very pretty um, pin. I love the little seashell in the middle. It does have some nice glittering throughout the little bow part here is like of her fin so that's a really really pretty pin I actually really like it and I love the colors of it so that is the first one very very pretty um, next one let's see who I get <clears throat> I do enjoy that these pins are bigger than I thought because how small the box is, I thought these were gonna be like really little pins, 
but no, they're they're actually a pretty decent size. Oh, interesting. This one's a much smaller bag. I wonder what that means. I wonder if they're not all the same size. All right, who did I get? Yes, you see, manifesting works, you guys. Manifesting totally works. So I just want to see comparison-wise pin size. Oh, no, it's about the same size. So obviously I said manifesting works, so I obviously got one of the ones I wanted, and that is of Rapunzel. So here is Rapunzel. I do love how they have the sun in the middle. That is really, really pretty. Um, there is a little flaw on this pin. Um, it's very, very hard to tell, but it's actually on the yellow part of the back bow. Um, there's actually a hole, kind of like a little hole in it. Um, or it could just be a black, um, it could be a black like um, glitter, but it looks almost like a hole. Um, that's the only part where I see a flaw. Everything else looks really, really great. So. Once again, there is the pin right there. Really pretty purple. I love how they kind of are mimicking her like, um, uh, what is it called? Like bustier part here. Um, what is this called? Am I making things up? You guys know what I'm talking about. Her like lace up part here, her bodice part. Um, I really like how they're kind of mimicking that. And then obviously the colors are definitely her. So really, really happy for this one. Definitely going in my Tangled collection. One more to go and it's gonna be Belle. I just know it, it's gonna be Belle. Here we go, here we go. Again, a smaller bag. It's interesting that the Ariel one, or yeah, the Ariel one was in such a big bag. All right, who did I get, who did I get? I manifested a little bit too hard that I got a double. So I got another uh, Rapunzel pin and this one actually, oh, you know what you guys, this one's not any better quality. Hmm, I do notice that sometimes box lunch don't have the best quality pins. So it looks like whatever they're kind of um, coating the top of the pins with um, went on the sides as well. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but it's right here and right here, it kind of went over the pin. So the quality on this one is not 100% great, but it's not super bad. Um, but overall, really, really pretty. So I do have a double. Uh, obviously, I'm looking to trade. So if anyone, and I know uh, Rapunzel's a pretty popular princess. So if anyone has Belle and wants to trade me for Rapunzel, please let me know because I would love to trade with you. I'm still thinking about Ariel. I really, really actually like the pin. So I may keep it, but we'll see. I, I'm not too sure on that one. All right, you guys, that was my whole box lunch haul as well as a mystery pin unboxing. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your favorite item was that I got in my box lunch today or that the hubby got between his two shirts. You let me know. And if, once again, if you have a bell bow that you wanna trade with my Rapunzel one, let me know. I am disclosing now that both of them have small, small little flaws, um, but that is kind of out of my control, so there's that. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching again. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.